This is for my dirt bag, dirt bike guys and gals. I don't know how you guys find the time to post all of the stuff that you post on that page. And I spend a little bit of time on, on Facebook. I don't even have the app on my phone. I usually get on Facebook Marketplace and look for new projects. But uh, I always have to see what's going on on there. I don't comment much. Um, but I've got that project I'm working on. It runs and drives. My wife wanted to pool for our special needs granddaughter. So I've been building decks and stuff. We put this this pool in last fall. I uh, built an addition to my shops. I've got, man, I just always have stuff going on. Besides mowing two acres, planting trees, killing weeds. It's April here in Texas. I'm sure it's April where you're at too. Actually, I think it's still March, but it's warm. Weeds are growing, but uh, the purpose of this little video is to first compliment my buddy Cody, that is also a dirt bike, dirt bag, that uh, owns his own business, Cody Crafted, I'm sure you guys know. Cody puts up car videos, but Cody does a lot more than just car stuff. He has a complete fabrication business down there, and the capabilities, and the business right now, of doing some really cool stuff. So here's another project. This was supposed to be the cool project that um, I built. I was gonna go to Colorado and I was gonna drive this, maybe go to Moab, but my wife took it over since I got done. So you can see it is a high dollar plastic duck hauler. But this guy um, is the one that I originally wanted to build. I bought this uh, Jeep, it had been wrecked, it had been blown up. It didn't run. Um, at one point in time, it was even two-wheel drive. It's now four-wheel drive. I didn't do the conversion. Somebody else did. Uh, when I got it, the 3.8 had uh, um, bad head gaskets, bad heads, bad a lot of stuff. I fixed that motor and then drove it for 2,500 miles and then pulled the motor out uh, a year and a half ago at Halloween, sold it to a kid um, that was trying to get a Jeep running and proceeded to do a MoTeC um, conversion. So I did the conversion myself, so it was a DIY kit. So I bought a motor locally from a junkyard, uh, 5.3, 2018 5.3 with an 8-speed transmission, which I found out is a rarity. It actually came out of a uh, GMC Sierra. It was a special package, and most of them by then were already 10 speeds. But uh, the good and the bad thing about this motor, which I don't know if you can see in there or not, but it looks like it belongs in there. The bad thing is it was a DOD AFM motor. It had 20,000 miles on it. I put the motor in uh, initially about 40 hours to get the thing going. Um, I was gonna have either Cody or one of the street outlaw guys do the exhaust. The weather got bad. I went down to a local guy. He did two into one, put LS catalyst on it. Um, catalytic converters and uh, I put it together and started driving it. I drove it for six or eight weeks and proceeded to have a lifter fail and I didn't drive it hard either. Those motors were not good. So I, this was a body off conversion so I pulled the body off, took it down, I left the motor in the chassis, put the chassis in on the trailer, took it down to um, a guy named Derek Lewis who's friends of the Street Outlaw guys and he does the the cam conversions. I did the, the complete cam change, plugged the holes, got rid of the whole DOD, put it back together. Um, at that point, I had put 2,000 miles on it. So it was down for about four or five weeks. I went on vacation. I came back, dropped the body back on it on Sunday night, drove it to work on Monday. Um, got, I'm pretty intimate with this Jeep. I know it pretty well. So I drove it and drove it and drove it, and I had problems with... Uh, uh, P2138 code, which is a throttle pedal assembly code problem. And uh, what it is, is the um, the plug, the actual the GM plug um, is kind of faulty and it gives a, it, it's only a five volt signal and it, it loses a signal for just a few milliseconds and it throws that code. So anyway, I'm sorry for all this pushing around, but this wire right here used to have a plug in it. 
So I took the plug off and soldered the 30 something wires all together in there one at a time on uh, October 4th, I think. So that cured that code. The other problem that I had was my O2 sensors and my readiness sensors would not make. Um, no engine lights, thing drove great, no running problems. So at first I thought I had a fuel trim problem because my fuel trims were off. Come to find out the computers they send out with these things are programmed with a 6.2 um, motor uh, program in the ECU because the guys at Motec like that tune. Well, my fuel trims are off. I thought that was it. Well, I got a hold of Motec and said, man, this ain't, this ain't working. I found a local amateur tuner and him and I started tuning and playing back and forth. And still, I got the, everything dialed in, got a really good tune, and it still wouldn't make. Well, come to find out, uh, Motec had the same problem, only with some of the computers. So what they did is they come up with a fix, and the fix is you get a fuel pump module out of a, a GM. So I'm using the Jeep fuel pump, lift pump, and obviously the LT motor that I have in here has a high-pressure fuel pump on their intake, and that thing's loud. Um, that's why they put all the insulation for you guys that have worked on that. But anyway, long story short, they had me hook this thing up with a hot wire, a keyed wire, a couple wires to the emission harnesses, and I drove it, and instead of the monitors making, which they did, um, I got an engine light. So I called them and said, hey man, I got a catalytic code engine light. And they said, yep. You have LS uh, catalytic converters, you need to switch to uh, LT catalytic converters, which they gave me a part number. So at the time with the two and the one, I wasn't really happy with the sound. It sounded good, but I wanted the thing to sound like a V8 Jeep. If you're gonna build a, G8, a V8 Jeep on your own, you want people to know it's a V8 Jeep. So here comes my buddy Cody. So I sent him a, a message and said, hey, I have some problems, can you help me out? And he said, sure thing. So with Cody, he's got a pretty busy, busy schedule. His concern was, hey, I, I can't work on daily drivers. This may take a day or two days or a week or two weeks. And I said, no problem, man. I'm going to go to the off-road games in Utah anyway. I will just drop this thing off. Obviously, I got two other Jeeps and a pickup to drive and a Harley Davidson and all kinds of crap. So I'm not going to have to worry about getting back and forth to work. So I dropped it off over at Cody's and uh, he did his magic. And now I got a cool two in the two. Dual out the back, exhaust system. And um, it's super clean. I mean, he went around everything. I got plenty of clearance. I don't have skid plates. This is, this is a driver. This ain't an off-road Jeep. Obviously my TJ's gonna be the off-road Jeep. But, uh, Anyway, he kept the Jeep for a few days, got everything done, cleared the codes. I get in the Jeep, I drive it home, and all my readiness codes are good. No engine, um, engine lights or anything. I am 100% 50 state compliant with this Jeep, which is what I wanted to do. I live in Tarrant County, Texas, which is where Fort Worth is. And it's, even though they're getting rid of uh, Inspections are going to keep emissions testing in the big counties where the all the people are and I'm in one of them And I didn't want to deal with it. I work for the government I didn't want to have to deal with trying to get illegal inspections or any of that stuff. So I'm good So the next issue was well, I got new exhaust now I got to start playing with my tune again So I got on my tuner who was kind of jealous because he wanted to do um, Exhaust on his but he has an auxiliary tank. He didn't have the space and I told him I said I think this two and a two will work um, he actually wants me to measure it and see, see what it would do. But anyway, so we played with the tune a little bit more. I've got this thing tuned good. Um, it runs good. I get about, uh, right about 15 miles a gallon. That's driving 80. I live in South Fort Worth, and I work at North Fort Worth. And it's a 35-mile round trip, and I get on 35, and I go. So anyway, kudos to Cody for getting this figured out. Um, i got to go down and see him because he kept my... Uh, my LS catalytic converters and my two-in-one exhaust because I'm going to do another build. So hopefully, um, square-body Chevy or even older is in my future.